Could this be the future of gaming? Well, we are soon to find out. Hello, thank you for joining me today for another exciting episode of Unboxing. This is Maxi Limit. Okay, let's get the show on the road. As you can see today, we do have a, a new product of the studio is the Rogue Ally from Asus. I just picked this up and we're going to be doing the unboxing as usual. Okay, so without further ado, let's go around the box and see what this, uh, what we have around the box here. So right in front of the box, as you can see, we do have uh, the picture of the, of the console itself. And then uh, on the side here, we do have the name Rogue Ally, and then we have the stamp of the Isis. At the bottom here, we have a usual stuff. We have the uh, the picture of the uh, of the device, and we do have a couple of instructions regarding what is in the box, some serial number, and so and so. At the back of it, we do have the name as usual, and here we do have the Republic of Gamers. This is the Isis sign, and on the other side, same stuff. So as you can see here, I have my knife ready. So let's uh, open this up and we see what this will bring. Perfect. So we got it. Let's cut this. All right, that is amazing. Let's put this back. Perfect. And let's open it up. I always like to unwrap new devices. So here we go, and uh, we are good to open. All right, look inside, right inside of the box, we have the device itself. As you can see, it is very beautiful. This is white color, and then I don't know if we have any other colors available there. Okay, so let's lift this up. <laughs> It is, it is big. To be honest with you, it is very, very big. Well, it's not that heavy, but it is phenomenal big. So let's put it on the side and see what else we have in the box. So right in the box on the other side, let me see what we have here. Uh, I don't even know if I can open this. All right. Oh, actually, <laughs> this is nothing. This is just a kind of a, a paper that they just tied up here. So let's put that back. And then uh, here, we do have a couple of devices here. Um, okay. So we have this one first. And uh, as usual, we do have some manual. So this is some um, quick start guide. If you want to uh, read this through, you can definitely read through it. So again, you can read this through if you want to. Me personally, I like to discover stuff myself. So. Anyway, it's always good to know that we have this quick start guide in there for you to read. So we can put that on the side. And again, we do have another box here, which is nothing other than the charger. This is a type C connector. So you plug this in the wall and you have type C connector. And by the charger is very, very good and beautiful and shiny. Let's put that here as well. And then let's see if you have anything else inside of the box. And that is pretty much it. There's nothing else inside of the box. Okay, let's put the box on the side and now bring our attention to the device itself. So as you can see, we do have the device here and then it is marvelous. So we have a couple of buttons and then uh, have like a whole bunch of buttons. We have the, uh, the A, B, X, Y, we have uh, those other buttons. Again, we need to turn this on and see uh, how this will perform. The two joystick here, we have the directions buttons. We have the couple of uh, the buttons here. Let's click it. 
it is a little bit loud but it's okay nothing that we cannot handle and then again uh, uh, on top here we have actually let me remove the wrap actually let's remove it for the first time always so satisfying actually you need to remove it this way perfect we can actually take it off like this or we can again open it up like this. and there we go this is just beautiful okay all right so again in front we have uh, all this button we talked about already on top we have uh, the uh, left and right and then another set of buttons here so left and right left and right so it looks like l1 and then uh, r1 our uh, left two and r2 as usual we have the power buttons have the power button here and then we have volume up and volume down and this i guess some ports and funny enough i do not see any um i do not see any a cable for those ones but i guess we can buy and set it up we have the uh the memory port where we can put the uh, the memory stick we have the uh this one says is a microphone hold i probably sure that it can also serve for headphones and then that is pretty much it at the back we do have m1 and m2 this is m2 and m1 listen to it that's it's great that's everything we have at the back and i don't know what these are maybe some uh some cooling system where the, the heat can dissipate from at the bottom eventually we do have the serial number and then uh, on the side we do have this uh logo here for the asus logo and then uh, this one as well well the grip is very very good it's very big as i mentioned very big compared to the nintendo switch so you need to actually get used to it okay so it's very very big you might need a case to be able to transport this but uh, uh i have not used this before i will see how it how it is and how big it is if you can actually go in the bag and if it's not going to be too much uncomfortable to to travel with and then yeah you can definitely hear it well but overall it is uh, fantastic okay so now we are at the bottom here you can see we have some some color this this is not rgb light but when you tilt it you can see different colors like a rainbow color which is very very fantastic to have and then uh, yeah it is uh, quite <laughs> good and as you can see already i'm having a lot of fingerprint already on the screen so it is something that you can be uh, aware of which is very very good all right now we just need to turn this on for the first time and then we can press the power button again as you plug it in you have this red light illuminating showing that the battery is charging now normally with every brand new device what i do is i let it charge fully before i use it but with this technology we don't need that so i'm gonna press the button for the first time oh <laughs> we have some amazing rgb light here oh this is very very beautiful oh this is amazing there you go so we have our window sign so it looks like this is a this is definitely a mobile computer so let's set it up for the first time okay so we are back so i'm gonna set this up for the first time so i change the angle of the camera so that uh, we can see clearly and again as you can see definitely those rgb lights are amazing you want to go to uh your region so i'm actually in canada so let me see if i can find canada somewhere here uh, bc canada so i'm choosing canada and then uh, we can go yes this touch screen and this is very very important it looks like i'm actually using a computer that is very very impressive okay the keyboard we are okay with the us uh, layout uh, we don't have any other layout so we can skip down one definitely and then uh, we now need to set up our uh wireless 
connectivity so this is actually mine wireless i'm gonna choose that so we are gonna go next okay perfect so it's uh checking for if we have any update and then what we want to name this device so basically uh, same thing as as if we were setting up a computer we need to name this device well let's name it uh, the name of the channel which is maxi limit perfect as you can hear it looks like there's a fan there's a fan inside of these things there's a small fan uh, basically there might be a maybe a GPU and a CPU in there some uh, some memories and then all this has to cool down so yeah there is a definitely a fan it's not that loud but if you are quiet enough you can definitely hear it all right so it has uh, I put my uh, information in it and then uh, it find me and then now it's asking me to go next it's gonna actually restore some of my information since uh, April 7 <laughs> we're gonna go next let me see and then it's asking me for a fingerprint touch the power button oh my goodness so the fingerprint actually it's on the power button here so that's where we can set up our fingerprint we are done we can click we can press next and then we need to set up a pin to be able to unlock our device so eventually the fun stuff we can buy subscriptions to have a microsoft office 365 i will decline it and then we can have a storage if you want to back up our uh, data which is good unless uh, in case you lose you lose your phone i will decline it and then uh, from there we will uh, have now the gaming part uh you see says that your device can with Xbox box unlimited so we are on the settings and then uh, as you can see this is the rogue ally rc71l dash rc71l and then uh, uh that is pretty much it storage wise this comes with the uh, 475 gigabyte this is incredible this is like about 500 gigs eh? <laughs> okay so we can download our favorite game and then a couple of uh, settings here we have the game library you can add they're showing us how to add your game into a specific place you can go next they are showing us now a couple of uh, buttons what they do and the vibrations and etc we can go next they're showing us a couple of other stuff and then uh, we can get started so uh i'm trying to download a couple of games but this takes a while so i have to download all this game before i can actually uh play this uh, device for you so you can see so i'm going to download a couple of games and i'll be right back